What does uh, black pepper do to your diabetes, you think, huh? Well, did you know that black pepper, a common spice in many households, may have beneficial effects if you have diabetes? Well, I'm Dr. Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist practicing in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And today we are going to dive into the science behind this black pepper and how it helps you. Now, black pepper comes from the flowering vine Piper nigrum, which is native to South India. It has been used for centuries in traditional medicine to treat various ailments, including digestive issues, inflammation, you name it. But recent studies have also shown that the black pepper may have a positive impact on blood sugar levels. No wonder our new glucose defense has that in it, right? At sugarmds.com, most of you visit that website. But one of the main active compounds in black pepper is piperine, right? Which gives its characteristic spicy taste. Now, piperine has been found to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation in the body, both of which are crucial if you are trying to manage your diabetes. Now, it can really help with the insulin sensitivity as well by its ability, which insulin sensitivity, by the way, let me talk about that quick, is the ability of your cells to respond to insulin, right? And effectively absorb the glucose from the food. But in people with type 2 diabetes, this process is impaired, leading to high levels of glucose in the blood. It's not that you don't have insulin, you have a lot of insulin, but not enough. So studies have shown that the piperine can improve the insulin sensitivity, making it easier for cells to absorb glucose and regulate the blood sugar levels. What else? Piperine has anti-inflammatory properties. What does diabetes do to you? It creates inflammation in your body. Inflammation in your arteries, your veins, your kidneys, your eyes. As a result, it will benefit diabetic people because of the chronic inflammation. It is the most common feature in diabetes. Now, as a result of that, people end up having heart disease too because of the inflammation in their body. By reducing that inflammation, black pepper may even prevent these issues even possibly improving the outcomes for heart-related issues. Now, how are you going to incorporate black pepper into your diet, right? Well, the good news is that incorporating black pepper into your diet doesn't require any major changes or additions. Most of us already use it in cooking, right? Just adding a little extra could have potential health benefits for you. People like I said, who use sugar MD glucodefense is enjoying the black pepper and other Ayurvedic herbs. Like we have, like, you know, gymnema, we have bitter melon, cinnamon, banaba, etc. But you can try using freshly ground black pepper. It tastes great, right? Instead of using the pre-ground ones. I don't like those because the, if it is pre-ground, it loses some of the active compounds during processing. So anything processed, don't touch it. You can also experiment with different types of black pepper as well. Uh, there's something called Malabar, there's something called Tally Cherry, if you're familiar with them. Now, it is very safe for most people, right, even when you're using moderate amounts. But everything has an upper limit. You have to be aware of the potential side effects as well. Not everybody will tolerate it well. Some people may have gastrointestinal issues such as stomach upset nausea or diarrhea so if you already know that you're sensitive to black pepper maybe it's not the best time to you know pile it up on your food it can also cause skin irritation uh, especially if you if it's on your hands and put on your eye or skin right it can be a problem so beyond it is potential benefits for diabetes management black pepper is also worth considering for what else not just the diabetes and everything else we discussed but also good for your brain and if you are tolerating it, it's actually good for your gut. Piperin, um, the compound in this black pepper, shows neuroprotective effects that might be beneficial for cognitive function. And diabetics always have like memory problems. Um, they get dementia early. You know, as you know, we call Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes nowadays because it is very closely correlated with it. But preliminary studies suggest that it could stave off brain aging and help manage the neurodegenerative diseases that includes Alzheimer's, but also even Parkinson's disease, which is a horrible disease. Black pepper will boost your gut health too. 
Why? Because it's going to stimulate the digestive enzymes, it's going to enhance the digestive process, and it also has been observed to possess some prebiotic features uh, like the ones in the yogurt by promoting the beneficial gut bacteria. So if you're not a big yogurt person, consider black pepper as well. That's going to do similar things in your microbiome. As a result of this positive effect on overall health and well-being, things will get better, including your cholesterol. Like research on animals has examined the potential of black pepper to extract, to cut down cholesterol levels. In a study conducted over like six week period, for example, they fed the rats on a high fat diet. Uh, well, when they do that high fat saturated fat, they become diabetic, by the way, if you didn't know. For people who think that uh, eating excessive fat is good for you, ask rats, okay? Those poor rats develop diabetes pretty quick. But um, when they are on a high fat diet, that's how they develop diabetes on those poor rats. But anyway, when they also fed them the black pepper after giving this high fat unhealthy diet, their cholesterol actually started getting better. So especially LDL cholesterol, which is your bad cholesterol. Now the other group who only had high fat saturated fat, they stayed diabetic and their cholesterol didn't go anywhere. So there you have it. I mean, it's a good study. It's a rat study. It's hard to do this on human studies. You cannot just make that somebody diabetic by giving high fat. So that's just not going to happen. It's just not ethical, right? But the primary compound in that piperin is taught to enhance the assimilation of the cholesterol, such as turmeric like or radius rice. Similarly, though, they do similar things to those. Now, the sugar MD glucodefense, right? Including the black pepper in there. Uh, and several other beneficial herbs, it is crucial to remember that also, you know, a lot of people ask that question, can I stop this, can I stop that? These supplements are not a replacement for your medications. Yeah, you may not need medications with a healthy lifestyle and supplements, but we don't recommend to just drop your medications prescribed by your doctor. You have to always consult with your doctor. If you're doing overall well, your doctor should be able to cut back or stop some medications, but don't do it yourself. Well, like I said, more research is always better. But so far, the evidence suggests that the black pepper may have a positive impact on your diabetes management. The active compound, the piperine, has been found to improve the insulin sensitivity. I'm summarizing it for you. Reduce the inflammation in your body. Uh, it helps your brain health. It helps your cholesterol. So next time you reach for that salt and pepper shakers, consider adding a little extra black pepper for potential health benefits. And those grinder ones that are not pre-ground, they're even better for you. So keep taking care of yourself and stay healthy. I will see you in the next video. Remember to share, remember to like, remember to visit sugarmds.com. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.